Yeah, so it's uh, Sunday the 10th of April 2022 and uh, up in Glen Shiel. Got up here for a couple of days just to do a bit of hiking. Uh, up with Paul here. <coughs> yep, it is a man. Um, so the weather's looking pretty good at the moment. As you can see, still a dust and a snow in the tops and um, the ones we are going up to should have uh, plenty of snow in them, especially the second one, that's the highest at 1109. So it should be a good uh, day. So we're up here for uh, <coughs> three days. We're going to do two days climbing and uh, hopefully we get three done today and we'll see what the weather's like on Tuesday, what we go up to so let's head off, see what this one's like so this is the wee path we're taking just up here and yeah there we go caught in a wee bit of a yeah I know Uh, there's that weekend uh, radio mast up there, Paul. So this is the wee junction. Uh, we take the wee path to the right here. Uh, and that one there is when we come back down again. Still not a breath of wind at all. It'll be great if it says like this already. There's some of the peaks coming into view. That's uh tail end of the brothers. And over on the left, that's uh, the South Shield Ridge. All looking magnificent. Oh, the views will be tremendous up here. Yeah, so there's a view back down. Just traversing that we uh, that we hill there, we have a bit of snow on it. We got a cloud coming in over on the south side anyway. See what it's like up here. Like I say, I think it's too clear for the afternoon anyway. Uh, so we're getting a wee uh, flurry of snow now. Snowballs. Yeah, so maybe we'll be snowball fight up here. Uh, I see if it lasts, I don't think it will. Uh, that snow's still on for the moment. I think it's moving down the glen that way. So hopefully we should be okay. That lock is like a mirror. Yeah, I think that's the sun starting to come out a wee bit now. Definitely. Feel the heat in that bit. I can land it with my hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get your treat out. Uh. Down, boy. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't even do you're, that. You'll be getting a low battery warning soon. Oh, okay. right. They see, see back and get them. They bring them down. Aye, right, leave it to the old pro. Aye. <laughs> right. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's been a great wee path. And like I say, there's no rush around these three because I've only got a 20 minute drive to the hotel, which is great. Rather than a three and a half hour drive back home. So we're just going to take our time around these. That's the summit, the first one. Can't remember the name, I'll put the name up. That was just about three years to get here. But we're doing a lot of filming and stopping. But what are these views like? Absolutely superb. Absolutely. You can see for miles now. Well, still can't see the second one, but the views are incredible. Hey, Paul. Fantastic. Aye. Corey, there, that's just I know. Quite too close to the Aye, definitely. Fantastic. <laughs> well done, my man. That's the first of three today. Oh, that is scary. Some drop in there. These eastern quarries. Yeah, so we're going to push on to the second one now. And could take... It'll probably take us about an hour, I think. Maybe just over an hour to get the rest one far away. Yeah, so we'll push on for this one. Oh. Yeah, it's a fantastic quarry. Lock Looney down there. Still like a mirror. Whoa, look at that there. That looks as though it's ready to go at any point. Yeah, definitely. Well, if it's no day breaking the trail, it's fall. I've always got great company when I'm out in the snow. Ah, they're no bad lads. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a ridge here. Then we come back down, dropping down towards the loch. But that's a good few years away. Still trekking up to the second one. Well, up there. Maybe get a better lunch up here. Leave the bags, head it to the first one. Sounds like a plan. Might see the corner better up there now. Look at that, eh? Gorgeous. Not too far away. Bob says we're just 50 metres away back there. So maybe an hour, 10 minutes or so. 
Some of that snow is deep there. Well, viewpoint here, eh? <laughs> yes. He did it! Well, just watch that there, it's difficult to tell where the hill ends here. That's the uh, third one out there, Paul. Right. Yeah, so here we are. We're done, mate. Eh? We know number two for today. I'll put the name up. Yeah, the, the, the peak of the hound or something. Ah, peak of the hound. The hill of the keeper of the peak of the hound. Aye. <laughs> I would just say it's the hill of the hard work. And here's our first one. Away over there, aye. And uh, the third one. Just straight out there. And again, we've got the Glen Africa Hills behind. They're just snow capped mountains everywhere. That was uh, that was four and a half. That was four and a half, and we got to that first one in three. So that was an hour and a half to get to this one. But it's not all that. That was not too bad going. An hour and a half for that one, Paul. Between them. grand spot for lunch eh? just sitting and taking any views here when the wind dies then it's not too bad the sun's out it's quite warm but as soon as that wind picks up it's bloody chilly so like I say we're going to head down that's the third one out there so we're just going to dump our bags down there head along back pick them up and end in that ridge That's the game plan anyway. Yes. <laughs> Go that view. Can yeah. go that view? So we're just gonna leave our bags the rest of the cairn. This is the kind of that's a path that traverses around the side eye. So it's just a nice wee walk to the third one now. Whoa, look at that bad boy of Cornus. That is an absolute corker. Let's see what Steven Spielberg's up to. Lights, camera action, yeah. Camera. 
After this time I've come out with Paul Agnew or something to be knee deep in snow. No complaining much. <laughs> <laughs> Rest and be thankful. Christ's sake, these are deep, eh? <laughs> ah, these are deep. Hard work, Mr. Agnew, eh? Hard work, guy. Hard work. Yeah. That's a bit of hard as well today. I know, especially Paul breaking through. Right, Summit, where are you? The last there to be. Uh, I think I can see it now, Paul. Yeah, and I can see Mike's wee step. Monroe number three. Well done, Paul. Oh, that was hard work, wasn't it? Yeah. Well done, Third and final for the day. Yeah, that'd be better there to be standing on. So it was. So, ah! <laughs> so I'll put the name up for this one. Can never bloody pronounce them. Fantastic. Eat a bit. Oh! <laughs> So we're just going to head back, pick up the bags, reverse on the side to the second one, and then the wee ridge it leads us back down to the, the road. So <clears throat> maybe film something later on, because it's just the same going back as it was coming up. And there it lies the shape of Paul Agnew. <laughs> Oh, I'll tell you about these are deep. <laughs> so that's us back at the bags now. I'm glad we bloody left them. Because it was quite tiring through all that snow. So let me just we just traverse around this way and it'll bring us then on to the ridge just in there. Oh. Ah, there'll be a locking down there frozen. I uh, know, I see that. I don't know if it. I don't think it is, I think that is probably safer up there. Aye, or that other side. I hope so. Yeah, and I'll be locking down there. They are the ones at the moment.
Somebody's a bit closer to Reg than you. Yeah. Oh, I got the heart racing. Yeah, so some bits of this are still quite steep as well. I'm not quite there yet. But Paul's making it look easy, but Paul's. Aye. Making it look easy. Anyway, we're heading down to a wee bit of kind of waterfall we can see next to the trees. And then the path just cuts from the headland there. You can actually see that kind of radio mast just in the kind of skyline, the ridge over there. So that's where we're kind of heading for. So we're just going to walk down to the road and we'll walk along that. I think the other path's just along that kind of fence line around the headland, but as I say, we'll just go down to the road. Oh, so it's us approaching the car park. Absolutely jig up. I better sleep well tonight, I'll tell you. Yeah, that was the wee path out there we this morning. I'll get the stats shortly. Show me the way to go home. I'm tired and I wanna go to bed. Aye. Paul's got a wee bed in the back of his van, he's going in for a kip now. Oh aye. Back to the wagon. So Ah. Oof, ten hours. Ten. <laughs> ten hours and twenty-one kilometers. That's what Madge Garmin is telling me. Yeah, Paul got the right idea up in a chair. <laughs> Just missing. Give me, a, give me a beer in the hand. Missing a for in there. I know, I. Anyway, that was a bloody hike and a half. Still great though. Hey Paul, still great. Scary at some point. Yeah. Oh, that's right.